Welcome to the review of Adventures in Math, created in 1983 by IBM. This is of course an educational game and the purpose is to help kids learn about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The game begins with this simple little graphic and asking how many players. So we're going to start with just one player and you choose the size of the castle and the types of operations to perform. So you begin in a castle, a first person perspective, and in order to progress onward, such as opening doors and collect treasure, you have to answer math problems. You use the function keys in order to perform operations. So the F6 is to pick up treasure. The goal of the game is to make as many points as you can and then find the exit. You get points for opening doors and even more points for collecting treasure. You can travel backwards to the left, forward, and to the right. And if you've already been to a location, there's a nice label at the bottom that tells you you've been there in order to help you to make your way out. The game has nice little graphics such as pots and tapestries and tables. And obviously this game is designed for very young kids. So it really helps them to want to practice math. The biggest problem with this game is it becomes tedious quite quickly. Not because of the math problems necessarily, but because you end up getting lost. So as I mentioned earlier, you have addition subtraction, multiplication, and division. If you answer incorrectly on a door, you're told what the answer is and you lose no points, but you gain no points. If you answer incorrectly when trying to get a treasure, a little spider comes down and picks up the treasure. So eventually, once you collected all the treasure you can, you have to find the exit. And once you open that door and step through, you win. I'm presented with that nice little animation for 1983. And then you're also presented with the top 10 scores. And we didn't even make the cut because we did a small castle. The game also allows for two players who basically take turns. You type in the players names and then choose the type of castle for each one which is nice if you have two children with different levels of math ability. And then they're off and playing. So player one will play first until they either say something incorrect or answer several questions. Seems like it was about three or four. And then it's player two's turn. There is a help option in the game which is very useful. Shows you what the function keys do. You can also get information on the current players such as the castle room they're in, the direction they're facing, etc. You can turn off the annoying sound which is priceless. And you can also change colors the foreground wall and door color as well as the backgrounds. So it allows you to choose any psychedelic color you desire. A very handy feature of the game is you can change the problem level. The lower the level the easier the problems become. And normally when you type your answers it's from left to right but you can actually change that option and type from right to left. Very useful. While Adventures in Math is a very simple game designed for young kids, 
It is a great learning tool for them. If I was a kid in 1983, I would have wanted it. Well, that wraps up this latest review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.